doing some Far Cry 4, 5, Far Cry 5, Mac, map creation, and I have a lot of alcohol in my system. Let's see if we can even do this. Chances are slim. All right, so the whole goal of this map that I'm creating is that you're going to go through this ravine and encounter hordes of enemies, which are kind of going to be like zombies. They're all going to be melee attack only. You're not going to have to deal with anybody shooting at you. It's going to just be hordes of pretty much dudes coming at you trying to beat you to death with sticks and other melee weapons. So we're cruising through right now the entire map that I've created and you're kind of, as you can see, you're forced inside of a pretty slim passageway and this white stuff on the ground is your road, you're kind of just following that. And I've got some scattered little uh, stuff around so far, just a few little things that I've scattered about. But pretty early in the process, I've really been experimenting most of the time as I, I've been creating this map, but I feel like I've got a pretty good grasp on it after about, I'd say about eight hours of just goofing around, trying to test everything. But we've got all the way to the end here. This is kind of where, once you reach this point here, you win the game. But easier said than done because you're going to be encountering several different hordes of enemies as you, as you traverse through it. And eventually you're going to come all the way to the end. And really if I want to, I can extend this. I can easily extend this because I'm going to, I'm going to fly up in the air and look down. That's the end right there. There's the beginning over there. But really, if I really want to, the beauty of this Far Cry editor is you can really go as much as as, as, as it allows you to. So I could keep continuing it and keeping, keeping on and getting, extending the pathway. But as of now, we're just going to roll with this. We're going to assume that that's going to be the ending here. So the first thing, I'm just going to show you guys if I would just play it. So I'm just going to play our map here. And we spawn at our little beginning point here. And I've created just only one custom loadout. It's still, this is still experimental phase. But I'm pretty sure we're just going to have shotgun only. We're, I'm going to give you like one shotgun. So back here, it's a dead end. In this way, this is where you start going. The final product, I'm gonna have a lot of fog and a lot of like different color filters and stuff, so it's not gonna look like this. Currently, I'm just trying to kind of make it really clear so I can see everything and I can edit, edit, edit everything easily. But really, what I'm gonna have is like a really thick fog, and it's gonna be, it's gonna look like hell. We're gonna look like we're in hell. So we're gonna kill some dudes. And I'm pretty sure all the enemies are all going to be melee. And you're going to have a shotgun and it's going to kind of be like this. Ah! Bad idea. Oh, they, <laughs> look at them all res. It's great. So, um... All these guys right here, they were all the same enemy. They were like a follower, wave one, prisoner male. And what I realized is, if you keep the same enemy, these are all the same enemy, it doesn't hog up your memory. 
So if I want to create like a map with a lot of enemies, and you keep the same enemy, you could create a. I could like spawn like a thousand of these dudes. It wouldn't matter. What really hogs up your your memory is if you do different kinds of enemies. So so far, all I'm gonna try to roll with is just these simple male follower wave one prisoner male. So that's gonna that that was like the first wave. That's kind of how it's gonna be, and that that wave. I'll probably make it a little easier because I really want the game to start off with kind of a simple first wave. And you're just going to continue along. You're going to follow this pathway. And keep in mind, I really want it to be really foggy and like it's going to be have like a red fog. And I've already experimented. I already figured out what I want, but I turn it off because it's just it's just difficult to edit and create your map with a bunch of fog and fucking like all these extra weather effects excuse me sorry so we're just going to continue along my pathway here i've kind of just done a bunch of random and i've also created an out of bounds so i bet if i go over here see how i'm kind of far away from my path here i made it so you're out of bounds so it might it might just let me sit here oh no see so it doesn't allow that. So if you were to try to cheat and just try to like jump over a mountain and try to get to the exit, it's not gonna let you do that shit. I'm not fucking around. So we're gonna just follow our, um, we're just gonna follow this road all the way to the end and you can kind of see what I'm going with. So after I go to the end here, like what my, my intent, the goal here is as you're going down this road, there's going to be sections, kind of like how that very first section where it was kind of cut off. You kind of went through a little, uh, a little uh, doorway and it was kind of cut off. So this is going to be kind of like chunks where you kind of enter a doorway and you kind of enter a zone here. Let's say this was an, you like enter a door right here maybe. I'll close it off. You go through a doorway and we're like, we're already pretty close to the ending here. So you're about, ha well, maybe halfway through. So about this point, I have a doorway here. You enter through, not a doorway, but, and maybe there's a pretty big horde here, bigger than that first horde for sure. And, um, you're going to fight through a horde here. You're going to have to kill a bunch of dudes. Kill, kill, I'm going to be shooting a bunch of guys. Once you kill them, you'll be able to, you'll, You'll go up here, and it'll be kind of another little, uh... It'll be cut off here with a little doorway, and you'll be able to kind of move up. You could maybe run past everybody and jump and just dip past them. But I'm, I'm trying to make it so that's kind of difficult. So it's kind of hard, hard to find little exit. So if you try to just exit really quick, you get killed because it's not super easy to just exit. So you'll keep you can continuing down the road. And I, I want it to be where you, you, you can, the more you continue down this road, it's going to get more difficult. But I'm also going to give you, give you better weapons as you progress. So maybe right here, you hit like a wall here, and there's a doorway. But like sitting right here, maybe I'll give you uh, like a better, maybe some like grenades or flamethrower armor who knows and I kind of want to have that progressively through the match so every time you like get through a chunk and you hit the doorway you'll get a little you get a little uh, upgrade if you pick up like an armor and maybe get a little health maybe you'll get like a better uh, uh, ammo so, we're just going to continue here. So let's say we're going to assume that I killed a bunch of dudes here. It was pretty intense. And now I hit this doorway. But now I picked up, like, uh, let's say I picked up a flamethrower. Because we're getting closer. We're about, like, 60-70% through the map. Maybe even closer. So we'll be cruising up here. And we'll have, a, like, probably an enemy horde around here, assuming. So I'll be killing a bunch of fucking- Yeah! 
Maybe have some Molotovs. By now we'll have some Molotovs. Even though uh, I've discovered that Molotov and, and Burning Dudes, it makes it really difficult because when you light these on fire, there's like a 30% chance they just like they just run after you and they fuck you up. So it, it kind of makes it difficult. Which is cool. I mean, it's up to you if you want to use that. So let's say we destroyed that horde. We'll probably cut it off here. And like when I say I'm gonna create sections, like there's mountains here. I we always can't. We, I can't get up here. It's just a huge mountain. Let's say I wanted to have a new segment here and a doorway. I'll just raise. I'll go to the terrain tool and I'm gonna raise and make it like a huge mountain here and a huge mountain here. So that way you're kind of you got you're forced to go right here and I'll have a doorway. Just to kind of contain the enemies, really. That's a big point of it. So that way the enemies don't wander around. So you'll go through here, and now you kind of start a new segment. And we're just going to continue. And we're just advancing to the exit. We're trying to just exit. The whole point of this game mode is... You're, the point of this game mode is to exit. You could really do it without killing anybody, but I'm trying to make it where you got to kill a bunch of shit. So we came from there. We went to the doorway. We might be sneaking. Maybe we're sneaking. Maybe I give you like a sniper rifle by now. I kind of doubt it. I'm trying to just go by like like zombie shit where you just got like shotguns. I really doubt I'm even gonna have any fire. It might just be a shotgun. All right. So oh shit, we're fighting zombies. Kill a bunch of dudes. Kill shit. And again, this is, I'm trying to explain to you what the ultimate goal of this map is going to be. Right now we're on like wave five of like seven. So I, let's say I kill everybody, boom, boom, boom. I barely almost survived. I got, I fucking barely did it. So I'm going to go up to here. There's a doorway right here. I'll make these mountains and enclosed and I'll have a nice little enclosed doorway. Oh shit, look at it, I pick up a med kit. Finally, I was low on health. Oh, maybe I get like a new weapon. Or maybe some like consumables or... A, 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 I don't know. Grenades, I don't know. Boom. And I think we're getting pretty close to the end here. So this might be like the final wave. I get in here. And I got a huge horde of zombies. And like two bosses, maybe maybe back here where we were earlier, we fought like some bosses, smaller bosses. Eventually we got here, we got a huge horde. I'm gonna be dipping around and killing shit. Maybe I got like all my weapons now. I got a flamethrower, I got a shotgun, I got I got a sawed off shotgun for my 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 little thing here. Maybe I got like a spiked bat. Oh, clubbed you the face. Hold R2 to do like a charge attack. Boom. Molotovs all over the place. So let's say I kill the boss. And maybe I don't even have to kill the boss. Really, I just have to escape. But maybe it'll kind of be... I'll try to make it so you're, you pretty much have to kill the boss. And you see this marker right here. The game mode that I've been playing this whole time is... Is um, Extraction, I think, where... The whole point is you just have to get to the extraction point and you win. So, if I were to go here, we made it. Boom. We did it. We completed the objective. We, we went through all the different stages that I created. There's different, kind of just different rooms. Almost like, oh shit, Smash TV. If you're talking old school or... It's almost like a zombie wave defense, but you're just advancing through the mountain ravine so um, that was me experimenting with it so let's try to make that dream a reality here's the ending and we're just gonna go back in time here so we fought through all this stuff and this road right here if you're trying to f figure out how I made this road if you go to terrain and then you go to road right now it's selected as the main road you can see on the left side of the screen it's that like white road so really if I wanted to let's say I wanted to 
Let's add a little detail to this road. Because it's, it's a little rigid right now. It's got some good detail toward, towards the end, but I think towards the beginning it's a little rough. Well, maybe not. I had to I did do, add a lot of different little points to it, but... So we're just cruising through. Let's say we don't like this road. It's a little too straight. We can add, we can add, hit R2 right here. I'm going to add a point. Click. And then I can kind of hold R2 and move it. Just to give it a little bit of flavor. There. Now it's just not some super rigid, boring straight lines. A little bit. And even here, see how it's just like a really ugly corner let's uh let's soften this corner up so first we're gonna move this here over a little bit we'll add a point here just drag it over and then one more point over here center it up there and why not one more maybe just a little something something you know a little something something Oh, we're st we still got a ways to go. Let's keep let's keep adding some more. You can see what I'm doing though. I'm just kind of make it so it's not so. Make it a little more natural. Like how does this road really look natural if it goes beep and then immediately rigid there? No. So let's just do a little. Maybe oh, we got to add a point up here. And we'll bend it. It's almost like yoga. You just gotta. You gotta find those points and then you just bend it like Beckham. Look at how this this long ass line right here doesn't feel right. We're trying to get like a highway to hell. It's like that's the working title right now. Let's get a couple let's get a couple little variances. We're just adding some points. And then we'll go back. Adding points. Uh, and then let's go back and kind of make it a little squirrely. Squirrel that up. Kind of a squirrel. And let's just kind of squirrel right in there, like a little nutty squirrel. He likes. He likes little tree nuts. Let's just creep over there. We're gonna make a happy little turn. And I, I really think all these little curves I'm doing here, it's gonna make all the difference. If I can avoid these little curves and if I can sneak it in these crevices here, it just it'll feel a little more natural. Like, like right here, how if I just maybe bring this to the right a little bit. You know, it's, you know, like, who wants to walk on the side of the mountain? You kind of walk in between the mountains. So I really liked what we just did there. We made a really nice kind of a organic thing there. But honestly, I think what we really need, we're going to do a little experiment here. I really want to just kind of check this whole map out as quick as I can. So we're going to just add a vehicle. Because I don't give a fuck. Uh, let's see. Objects. Transport. Uh, no. Where are vehicles? Let me think. Uh, you need your green plane. Vehicles. Uh, land. And I kind of want to do like a four-wheeler so we can kind of creep through these little crevices. Because really this whole map is meant to be played. Oops. On foot. And uh, we'll just throw this dude up here. Let's see if we can play this. Oh, clipping object. 
probably this object right here. Darn sorry. Drop to ground. Drop to ground. Can you play? No. Hmm. Let's see if we can play it without that. There we go. So as you can see, this loadout right here, by default, there's several different loadouts, but I deleted all the other loadouts and just made one loadout. And this loadout is, it, it, it's like a experimental loadout. I'm hoping to figure out the right loadout. It's probably just gonna be a shotgun. Maybe like a, a sidearm, I don't know. So this is blocked here. This is like the highway, this is blocked. I'm trying not to, I hope you can't get over here. I mean, you can, but... Okay, good, you can't get over there. All right. So, I'm, okay, oh, can't go that way? Let's go this way. If I'm a new person. Never played this map. This is the shotgun that I, I'm thinking to use right here. I just want to dip through here. There goes nothing. Go to hit with your hand. How bad your So it'll probably be like a doorway right here. The zone will end here. That first wave ends there. Now you come in here. Oh, it's a long track though. Let's just go back to editing. So that was solid. I felt about right. Again, I'm drunk. Kids, don't drink and drive. Occasionally, I'll just, you know, get all fucked up and try to do a video game stream. Who knows why? But I'll just take another sip here. And that could be the beginning of the end right there. Uh. So, we're kind of approaching the time where I've got the map created and I really am pretty confident with the map. And one thing I'll add is, if you see these lines right here, this whole line that you see, that's my custom, I created these out of bounds, boundaries. So if you're, if you're new to Far Cry 5, if you're creating maps, you're trying to learn something, I highly recommend if you're trying to create your own custom boundaries, so where like if you're right here and you go out of bounds over here, it'll like cut you off and tell you, oh, you gotta go back inbounds. By default, it does not show these lines. So you would have no idea. By default, I wouldn't be able to see basically my whole map. So if you're trying to do something like this, before you start your map, when you're creating a new map, just go to hit start. And I believe it's under editor options, editor settings, and then it's under show map limits. For whatever reason, it's off by default, I believe. And I'm not 100% sure that's right, but it's, it's one of these options. If it's not that, but just look around. If that's not it, if that doesn't work, it's one of these options. So, we're going to play one more time. And what we're going to start doing now is we're going to start adding more hordes and more sections. So this first horde... It's more, it's essentially like a smallest, it's technically the hardest, or, excuse me, it should be the smallest section and the easiest horde. And as we progress through that whole road all the way to the end, the sections are going to get 
larger in in diameter and also more difficult in more in like more more of these zombies we call them zombies because that's kind of kind of what I'm going for I wish I could customize what these dudes had it, it doesn't let you as far as I know I've tried it doesn't let you like customize what weapons these guys have like if I could I'd probably give these guys maybe like brass knuckles so they're just trying to like punch me kind of like like a real zombie and by the way this shotgun I'm using right now it's too easy I'm not gonna use the shotgun this is the shotgun we're gonna probably end up using and I, I, I need to remember next time I quit out once once we get back to the, the play mode I need to get rid of that because it's too easy. I want this to be a challenge. I want it to be fun. I want you to be dying. I want you to play. I want the first time you play this game. I, you better die. If you don't die the first time you play this, I I failed. Or you're really you're really good. You're. And if you if I create this to where I, my vision is, and you play this your first time, and you don't die. I will, I will, I will, what will I do? I will donate to your channel. There you go. I'll donate to your channel. It might be the minimum donation. I'm not going to lie. But I will do it. But I don't think, I don't think people do that. It, it, I'm gonna make this really hard. This is already, we're already on like wave four. I'm just like running through. Now we're on like wave five. And we probably got like, I don't know how far that is. So let's do it. This is great. If you're try if you like uh, creation and games, and uh, I'm gonna, I'm thinking like Little Big Planet right now because that's like the the best creating if you like to create video game stuff. Little Big Planet is the best. But besides that, I, I might have to give this number two. And it really, it could be number one. But I, it's hard to make this number one because in Little Big Planet, you can. There's so many different like triggers you can make. There's so many different like, you can make like an entire like calculator. You can make uh, you can make a whole RPG with quests and. Whereas Far Cry Five, it seems like all I can really do is select the game mode. Right now, the game mode is you need to get this dude right here all the way to the extraction point, which is like over here, right there. And I don't really see a whole lot of other options. There's different game modes. I can have um, a game mode where you have to kill all the enemies, so I could create 50 enemies and you have to kill every single one of them. Or there's game modes where, oh, I'm blanking on the other ones, but <clears throat> anyway. Right now, we're just focusing on this one where, kind of my, my, uh, my vision here is, you are a dude who is flying in a helicopter, you're coming in to try to save the world. There's fucking zombie uh, melee dudes coming around, and all of a sudden, your helicopter gets taken down. You you, you get hit. <laughs> oh, we're going down! <laughs> Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hear me? Hear me? Are you okay? Okay, 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 okay. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! You wake up! 
you're like dazed and confused. You wake up from your from your you crash in the helicopter. The the pilot's dead. All your passengers are dead. You might have a, like a friendly. I just thought of that. You could have a friendly with you. I don't know. Let's just say for now, everybody's dead. All your your chopper, your whole squad's dead. Your chopper crashed. You wake up. <laughs> Don't die, 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 Oh, no, no, no. So you tried CPR, they're all dead. You fucking, you come out of your chopper. And you see, here's your chopper right here. It exploded. And I'll be able to add, like, some, uh, some, like, fire and stuff. I'll be able to, okay. Ooh, it's dark out. So... Everybody's dead. I'll probably have like corpse here and a corpse there, and they're gonna have like a med kit, and he'll have like the weapon you need. You're gonna start with nothing. He'll have like a shotgun. This person will have like one med kit, something like that. So we're gonna go through here, and this is the shotgun you're gonna get right away, I think. Or maybe maybe I give you like a shitty shotgun. Let's see if we can do it with just like this trash ass shotgun. If this is like your uh This is like your sh your sidearm shotgun. Maybe maybe the spur shotgun, I don't know. I haven't played enough to to really figure that out. Oh Fuck you. Yeah, oh he's trying to res his buddy. Oh he might have he res this guy. And I, I love how the, the enemy rises them, their, their friendlies. That's one of my favorite things. Kind of seems like a bitch, but that dude straight up, he rezzed this guy, and then he came and attacked me. Like, uh, I don't know. Something about it. You think about, like, PvP games where you got to kill a dude and then they'll res him. Bring it on. So, we're about to go back to creation mode, but the next thing we're going to do here is, this is like the perfect spot right here, right here, where we're going to create a, like another fence, another, uh, I forget what the word is, but it's going to be just like... Uh, a little cutoff here point so you'll have to creep through here maybe a door a fence hole fence door and then we'll come in here and there'll probably be like a, a horde of enemies right here but they're gonna be harder than that horde back there and you're gonna fight them bang 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 kill 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 die once you kill them all, you loot them, them. Maybe you can take their, if you really want some of their shit. You kill them. And then we'll move up here. So we should probably have the next thing, maybe like right after this wreckage. So let's do it. So uh, I'm gonna try to teach as much stuff as I can here. And as hammered as I am, I really feel like you can learn a lot of stuff here because I've been doing a lot of trial and error I've been trying to figure out what works what does not work if I want to do this can I do it what happens when I try this it oh, doesn't work okay cool well fuck it then we'll try to something else so <clears throat> we're gonna start you see how these mountains are over here and shit? We got all these mountains. One big one big reason why I made these mountains is because when I first started making this map, I realized that when I spawn these enemies, all these enemies here, they just walk wherever the hell they wanna walk. This dude right here, he could potentially walk like way the hell over here 
Way over here. He can end up way over here. Way away from where he even started. So I realized right away that if I want to like control the enemies, I pretty much have to box them in. That is why I made this long road and then I created these giant walls around the road so when I spawn all these enemies and I cut them off where I create like a entrance so this would be like the exit right here I could pretty much already tell this would be like where I cut them off this is that's the exit and then over here which I already made the entrance which is like right here pretty much what I'm doing is creating a giant not a giant but a, a, a zone to kill a horde of enemies oh and I want to kill them and we spend enough time sometimes I just I spent too much time creating I just want to fucking kill somebody so let's kill some fuckers and I'm just gonna mask her but we also gotta let's try it all right, hold up. Let's try a spike bat. See if I can kill all these little pussy bitches with a spike bat. Ah! Oh, he already hit me once. Oh, I'm probably screwed. And remember, you can hold R2. To, you can hold R2 to strong attack. Oh. Okay. Okay. Maybe we can do it. Oh. We got. Oh. All right, let's run. But see, I can bring them. The whole point, and I mean, it's a good strategy. You bring them through the hot gates here. If you bring them, as Leonidas said, you bring them through the hot gates when numbers won't matter. Oh, yeah. Oh. That was really satisfying. I don't know why. I think it's because it's exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm giving you like a zone, you enter the zone, you fight a bunch of enemies. If you're smart, you probably want to back up. The further you back up, the more you can funnel them in. And as Leo and I just said, not to be repetitive, but num num uh, numbers won't matter. So. The more you can funnel them in. And as Leo and I just said, not to be. I, I don't think I have any comments. Num num yeah. Alright, so. That is exactly what I was really hoping would happen. So we're on track. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm confident that the first wave right there is a pretty good first wave, except we're going to make it I'm not, uh, not to be weak, but we're going to make it a little easier. We're going to delete two dudes. Just because whoever joins... I don't know who's going to be like popping in here and playing this. But I, d I don't want to discourage them from continuing. Oh. <sighs> Let's say. Click being an object. Uh. <laughs> One tricky thing about this is. Sometimes you're trying to play and it's telling you that you got a clipping object. But I don't know what the object is. <laughs> so we're going to go to. So I don't want to publish. Validation. Area not clear, it might be clipping 
grew in another object. The grew. The grew? Okay, that's not English, but. Okay, so we're gonna. If I can't notice anything obvious, it's pretty easy to just undo, kind of like if you're in, into, into Photoshop. What the hell is this guy doing here? You get deleted. Can we just play it? Was that the guy that was causing the problem, maybe? Let's play it. Oh, it was! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Alright. So I'm hoping you spawn in the game. You're all disoriented. You're like, oh, what's going on? My helicopter crashed. Alright. And this shotgun, I gotta. We're gonna change the loadout as soon as we exit out of here. I don't look out of the shotgun. It's too easy. Oh, you want some? And I'm pretty sure, even though I don't really like using a whole lot of like fire weapons, there's gonna be a lot of fire in the in the in the environment. Because this is supposed to be like hell. I kind of want this to be like you're escaping hell. So far, that was good. Um, that was like perfect, if you ask me. It wasn't too hard. If you're new to the game, those guys might give you a little trouble, but you should be able to kill them. Or if not, you'll realize, okay, I can kill them on my second try. And I hate to do it for veteran players because that'll be pretty easily for a vet, pretty easily beaten by a veteran. But you also realize, you're a vet, you're like, okay, we're gonna be going through sections. That was the first section. That was easy. But now I think it's going to get a lot harder. Because that was... That was cool. But we're, we're about to get real. Because really, I, when I make a map, it's not for fucking uh, new people. It's for people like me that want a real sweet fucking map. That's some fun. A little bit of freshness. So. We go in here, we kill that first wave. We're down to the second wave. First thing, this is a perfect little gap. We're gonna smooth it. Oh, so we're going to terrain. Terrain tools. We're going to smooth. And that's a little too wide. We're trying to make it pretty narrow. So we're gonna just do a little radius down. We're gonna do hardness down. Radius down a little. Bring the hardness back up. Just to get this little gap right here. Mm. That's not good. So, pro tip. If you go to more, So right now, I know that my base level here, if I just go to like ground level, fuck, I shouldn't have gone over there. Dang it. If I go to ground level, pretty much probably like right here, I don't know for sure, but it's 50. The, the, the value is 50. So if I'm trying to set a height and I put it at 50, it's going to be like the, the exact ground level height. And that, I'm not explaining it very well, so we're going to just explain it better here and why I'm trying to explain this to you. So. 
So you start here, you kill the first horde. Now we get here. And the reason I'm trying to get to level is because you look at this pathway here, it's all super janky. It's still up on the side of the hill. And that's just, it's just, it's not what I'm going for. I'm trying to make this a little more professional. Who's going to make a road on the side of the hill? So, terrain. And we're going to go to, uh, terrain tools. We're going to go to more. And then set to height. Not hold. Set to height. So, like I said, the height to be level completely is 50. So, we're going to go to 50. In hardness, we're going to turn up a little. With speed, we're going to turn loud. We're going to try to be a little soft. We're going to hit R2 here to start. Mellow it up a little bit. And you know what? I'm going to be honest. That was a little too much right there, what I just did. So if you hit R3, and then undo, so hold right click and left D pad. We're just going to try to do it. Doop. Doop. And let's try this out. So we're going into it blind. Why can't they sense the collapse coming? And for experimental, let's see if I can just run past him. Because honestly, I don't want you to be able to run past him. But it seems pretty easy. Not good. Hmm. Well, anyway. It's going to kind of be like a rinse and repeat. First wave here. Doorway. Next wave. Another doorway. Next wave. Doorway. Harder wave doorway, even harder doorway. Eventually, you fight like a really hard wave right here with the boss. Once you kill them, maybe you go through another doorway, and then you get here, which is the extraction point, and. You win. So, as we conclude, I'm going to essentially just be adding sections, adding enemies, and it's always going to be, because I'm just going melee only, all these enemies are prisoner, uh, not brawler, brawler, male. So if you're creating, you want, and if you didn't want to just do melee dudes, there's plenty of different other enemies you can create. You can do shotgun dudes and sniper dudes and all sorts of different enemies, different, and there's different skins. I picked these guys because they just kind of look kind of creepy. So the last thing we're going to do before we end is just do kind of a silly little uh, post effects. We're gonna do black and white. And we're gonna try it out in black and white. So I'm hoping to add more to this map. And uh, you know, I'll be posting it 
uploading it to the Far Cry servers and whatever and you play it. It won't be easy. It's meant to be, uh, failed. If you beat it. If you beat it, uh, oh, see, he's dead. Alright. Well, farewell. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe.